<sighs> you know, been recording for about an hour now, and I realized I wasn't recording at all. What's going on, guys? It's Ben. Hope you're all having a good day. We're here on the Modern Warfare 3 beta today. It's out from October 12th to October 16th. I think it's free to play for everyone from the 14th to 16th. Uh, but for PC, it came out on the 12th here, and there were some people playing it on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, I believe, earlier. I will be playing on a PlayStation 4 controller, and the cord isn't the greatest, but, uh, you know. I think these PlayStation 4 controllers are designed just to break the cord. I do have a scuff. Um, as you guys can see, I have a nice scuff impact, but... Ugh. Indigestion. Uh, the triggers actually are kind of fucked in it, so I have to get them fixed before I can do anything else. But yeah, I've had like three or four games on the beta now. It plays really well. The movement is really awesome. Honestly, it feels just super free again. I don't think that Call of Duty will be exactly like killed this year or anything. No, not that it's killed any year, but year after year, you know, people buy the game and then, you know, the, the long-term player base gets smaller and smaller, as we just see in the numbers. It's currently like 10 p.m. Uh, I didn't get to start recording until about 9. And then, of course, the video just wasn't recorded, so there's not really much I can do about that. Controller, 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 controller. Con I've been trying to get some clips of what's going on at work and just things that I'm doing. Uh, it's kind of the slow season of the year, so we don't have as much going on, not as much cheese making. I'm not spending, like, more than, like, 30 seconds grabbing just a clip or two. But it's just some kind of insight so you guys can see what's going on at work. I think it's kind of cool, and uh, I enjoy just doing it in general, so... I think it might be cool for you guys to kind of see what I do on a day-to-day -day basis as well. And just to see the process of the cheese and what they go through. Because who knows, maybe our cheeses are even located somewhere near you. So I think I'm going to take the videos that I do with the cooking and kind of make a separate channel with them. Just kind of separate things. I think I'm going to leave the Ven Likes Coffee channel uh, specifically for gaming and just kind of talking, telling stories, things like that. And then I think I'm going to do a Ven Likes Cooking or something of the sort just specifically for cooking, baking, anything like that. I just feel like that would give the best chance for things to expand. It would give a good actual separation for the audience as well, because obviously people that game eat food, everybody eats food. If you're looking for specifically food content, oftentimes that is just what you're looking for. I don't think a lot of people that want like a, oh, what is this? I don't think a lot of people that want like a weeknight pasta dish or uh, looking for a COD video is their second recommendation. What the fuck is this spawn, man? I don't deserve those hit markers, man. That's what I'm saying. Ah, dude, if I had those, um... Yeah, dude, I'm telling you. Once I get, like, the perks and shit unlocked, this shit is gonna be so nice. Look at the movement I'm experiencing already. It's, like, next level compared to what we're seeing in Modern Warfare 2 and whatnot. And I don't have anything unlocked. Ooh, little flex key. The collat? Woo! He'll repeat. Told you. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make some apple butter here soon, so I'll probably do a video on that on YouTube. I'm gonna do an Instant Pot apple butter just because it's a lot simpler all in all to, to deal with. I actually don't have a crock pot. I just use my Instant Pot for pretty much everything that has to do with recipes like that. Good night. This feels good though. It is much faster paced than Modern Warfare 2 is. You're not playing a whole game of domination to get 20 kills. I mean, I've been running around sniping the whole game and I have 40 here. Which isn't anything to call home about, um, but... What I'm saying is the game feels good. Like, it, it's, it's in beta, but it feels good. It feels like a genuine full game. I don't think we're gonna have as many people as normal that are gonna fall off from playing the game within, you know, two to four weeks. Uh, cause that's really how it feels a lot of the time. Like, I, f I feel like a lot of people, they don't even stick around to finish the camo grind. They're just, I didn't even stick around and finish the camo grind on Modern Warfare 2. I was so busy and there were so many other good games releasing, like, I just really wasn't worried about it. Like, I went back and played Elden Ring again and started a second playthrough before I was worried about finishing the camo grind. Which is sad, cause like, the camo grind's something I've enjoyed doing all the way since Black Ops 3. Like, I don't know, it's just been... A lot of fun year after year. So this year, I definitely think I'm gonna, you know, get back on and do the camo grind again. I can't wait until my little one is like 
you know, three, four, and she can really actually get in the kitchen and help me cook. Because right now she's at the age where she loves helping me do things, but, you know, if I let her try to salt something, she's, she's going to get too much salt in there, you know what I mean? <laughs> With seasonings like garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, things like that, I, I do like to let her season. Or I like to let her stir anything that isn't hot at the... But yeah, as for what the game has to offer, uh, I unlocked custom class a uh, level or two ago. I think level four is when you unlock it. Um, so this year, instead of perks, they're giving us equipment, as we knew about. We have our vests here. There's an infantry vest, which increases tax sprint duration and reduces refresh time. Uh, there's an engineer vest, which spots enemy equipment, field upgrades, and kill streaks through walls. Also, what I thought was a neat feature, uh, aiming down sights highlights them for the team. Which is something we haven't really seen before. Something that's like a team utilization of Engineer. And then of course your faster field upgrade recharge. Uh, there's a gunner vest, deploys with max ammo, and improves reload speed. Also, I like that they let you know that duplicate effects do not stack. I'm aware I still need a haircut, by the way. And then the demolition vest, uh, resupply lethal and tactical equipment every 25 seconds. Basically just resupply. I wonder if these will be like a visual aspect in game, I really doubt it. But I doubt they'll have something that affects the actual aesthetics and look of the 20 plus dollar skins they're selling in the store. As for the other equipment, uh, field equipment, right now in the beta we have trophy system, uh, the comm scrambler, pretty self explanatory. Uh, new thing is a med box and I'm kind of interested to see how this will be used in competitive, uh, you know to make plays, things like that, or even warzone. Then munitions box and the ACS which is another new item. Um, I think this is pretty cool. So the ACS stands for Automated Computer Spike, which basically you just throw this bad boy down on a point and it just slowly captures it. So if you throw a trophy system down with it and then you and your teammate are just holding the point, you're pretty much inevitably going to capture it. And on to the rest of the equipment, we have Quick Grip Gloves, which is an increased weapon swap speed glove. We have the Scavenger Gloves, uh, Resupply Ammo and Throwing Knives from Dead Players, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and the Commando Gloves, we can reload while sprinting. Really the reload time isn't too bad. I enjoy the fact that you can reload cancel in this game, but even if you can't sprint reload cancel, you can just YY. So that's not really a problem. Onto the boots, there is a ton of boots here. The lightweight boots, they increase movement and swim speed, uh, reduces noise while swimming. Hmm, that's kind of useful. We have the climbing boots, which increase climbing and mantling speed, as well as reduces fall damage. Uh, we have the stalker boots which increase strafe and ADS movement speed, which really the movement speed and the penalty on strafe speed isn't bad, so an increased version of that would be very nice. There's the tactical pads which increase slide distance and allows for full ADS while sliding. I think this would be very useful. I don't like the little half ADS strafe you do while you're sliding, it just it bothers me. Too much like Apex. Not that there's anything wrong with Apex, it's just... It's weird. Uh, as well as increased stance transition speeds and crouch movement speed. And then we have the covert sneakers, which is basically just ninja to eliminate your footstep sounds. Finally, the gear here. So we have EOD padding, you know, reduces explosive damage, uh, as well as fire. That's interesting. Then we have the attack mask here. We all know what these things do. Uh, and then we have mission control, reduces kill streaks and score streaks here. We have the bone conduction, uh, reduces combat noise, allowing improved identification of enemy footsteps and gunshots. I would like a little more elaboration on this one, because if you're improving the identification of enemy footsteps and gunshots, what combat noise are you reducing exactly? Like the t your teammate combat noise? I don't understand necessarily. Or is it reducing your own combat noise by you know getting rid of the death skulls you create when you kill somebody? I don't know if that's what they're meaning by that or we have LR detector which is just high alert here it's good coffee and then we have the ghost TV camo which is just ghost I think it's cool that it's made to look like a ghillie suit however it's more aesthetically pleasing since it's called gear as for the weapons it looks like we have something like the Galil here and then one of these is definitely the ACR I can't really tell which one they're both 556 five, weapons and they both kind of have the same like sight looking ordeal to them. This one almost looks more like a scar. So I'm thinking this might be the ACR, this might be the scar. As for battle rifles, it looks like we just have different variations of the ACR and the scar here. The SMGs, we have the Rival 9, the AMR, and then the Striker. We have the UMP45 is the Striker. That's a classic. Uh, the AMR9, I'm having trouble remembering what this was. It was like the Bulldog or something. No, no, no. That was a weird shotgun from Ghost. Hmm. 
I don't know. This was definitely a weird SMG from a, a previous Call of Duty. Uh, and then we have the Rival 9. This reminds me of the Chico or the Scorpion, just a high fire rate SMG. For the shotguns, we have the Riveter, a full auto 410 shotgun built around an assault rifle receiver. The Riveter is a hole punching machine. They make it sound so menacing. It's like, uh, we basically have a new Brecky or an AA-12 here. Man, do you guys remember the Brecky? Brecky, whatever it was called. <laughs> that was a dark time. Then we have the Lockwood 680. Uh, just classic 12 gauge. For the LMGs, we have the Holger and then the Polymyot. We have the 7.62. Uh, for marksman rifles, we have the MTZ Interceptor and the MCW 6.8. They look like snipers that have yet to be built, though. And then if you look at the snipers here, they are, they're not... I don't know. These don't really look like snipers to me. Like, the longbow is the more sniper looking one and i feel like this just looks like a dragon off like something that would typically be like your your lightweight sniper which that's what it is it's a 25 round sniper but your kb inhibitor here which i was assuming at first was supposed to be your bear 50 but obviously the bear 50 is always labeled so i'm thinking that maybe we'll just have a couple more semi-auto snipers they're very quick in ads and then the fire rate's nice as well as the damage has been really really solid out of this weapon so far I've only used it in two games, but I've gotten a couple hit markers, really, really only when I wallbang some of them. Uh, as for the secondaries, we don't get any melee at the moment, but we have the little Stinger. Uh, it's just a little Uzi SMG. The Renetti, which is three-round burst pistol, and then the TAC-45, or Core-45, sorry. And then for launchers, we have the Pila here, which, you know, it's going to be great to use that for another year. Um, <laughs> I'm excited to see what other launchers we'll have off a rip. Sure, we'll have some sort of javelin again to do fun challenges with. As for the operators, I have a couple of them unlocked, not all of them, because I didn't buy the, you know, the deluxe edition. Uh, we have Rocket, just your standard mil sim operator. Price, which this is a pretty badass skin. I think it's funny how Price and Makarov are both smoking through their costumes. Also, it's like, why are only the European people smoking? Wait, does Warden also do the cigarette animation? But she's not smoking. Uh, and then we have Ghost, which it's telling me that Ghost is unlocked. But, I don't know. Maybe it's just telling me to go get the store bundle. Uh, we have Blueprint, and then Jabber here. The price and Ghost skins look really clean. Uh, but I'm, I'm not buying the Deluxe Edition, I'm sorry. And then we have Thirst. What the fuck? <laughs> up with the names for these characters, man? And we have Doc. They're so generic. Uh, then we have Warden. This was probably my favorite one. I just thought that all in all, Warden looked really clean. Then we have Makarov, like I was showing a minute ago. Of course, the Russian guy's gotta have a cigarette. <laughs> and then Blaze. So as for what they've given us in the beta, we have Mosh Pit, Cutthroat, and Ground Boar. I've just been playing a couple games of Mosh Pit. Um, Ground Boar, I'm not sure what maps they put that on. I would imagine it's probably the same maps, or maybe it's just one big open map. I do hope that they put like 9v9 Ground Boar in, though. Um, that would be really nice, because a lot of these maps were designed to play on games like that. Um, they weren't necessarily designed to play 6v6. Yeah, let's go Skid Row for old time's sake. I played a couple games of High Rise in the, the first video I recorded. So I didn't get to start recording until about 9 o'clock, and then I recorded until about 9.50 before I realized that, oh, it just wasn't recording. I would have started playing sooner, but once I picked my little one up from daycare, we went to the playground for a bit before our mom got her this evening. And then once I came home, I had to shower and everything first. It took me like 30 minutes to realize that I didn't need the beta code to actually play the game. You know, I really liked using the sniper, but let's swap around and use the red guns a little bit map looks so good man see like the color on this looks good in my opinion things look really good oh, i shouldn't have kept that's why i want the sniper give me the fucking sniper back on favela good night Feels so good. Hit detection, net code feels really good already. I don't think they have too much at all to fix when it comes to the you know the net code of thing. You ever get an itch on the bottom of your foot so you like try to use your rug to scratch it? <laughs> I know what else is gaming chairs have those weird arms to where they're like more in the fucking way than anything else. So it turns out my OBS had done an update um, before this and it wasn't recording game sound for any of my recordings. And then about 45 minutes into recording, uh, it stopped recording mic audio. So I'm just going to re-record the outro and roll with what I have so far. I got a pretty good overview of what all is available for the beta for everyone, as well as a decent little bit of gameplay in there so you guys can first hand see some sniping and a little bit of the gunplay. 
I hope you all enjoyed this video. I apologize for the technical difficulties, and I will definitely have this straightened out next time. Just try to bear with me here. A lot of times I'm recording this stuff in a bit of a rush, so I don't always go through all my little checklists beforehand, and I definitely need to. But thank you all very much for watching the video and bearing with me. I hope you enjoyed, and this was able to help you out and maybe lean you either towards buying the game or not towards buying the game. I think it feels very good compared to MW2. The movement is, you know, fluid, and it feels good. Sniping as well just feels very fluid smooth and I think this is I think if you're interested in sniping or enjoy sniping or just gunplay in general uh, You know that quick free-flowing gameplay. You're definitely going to enjoy it So 14th to the 16th there will be free beta for everyone to play So go ahead and check that out in a couple days But I'm gonna wrap this video up here because I gotta get this edited and hopefully posted tonight for you guys uh, If not, I'm gonna get that posted tomorrow. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe I upload as much as I can. And let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see next or what kind of food videos you'd like to see. But it's been Ben, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.